so it's finally here what we are talking about here is android 14 beta 2 android 14's developer preview 1 2 were there and then android 14's beta 1 arrived but with this one we have android 14's beta 2 expectedly there is no new easter egg right now we are still having the android 13 style easter egg maybe with the new uh, next beta updates we might see that but right now as expectedly we are having with the main security patch i'm using a gsi on my device right now and you can also install gsi at the end of the video i'll tell you that how i installed gsa on my device which device i'm using and some more things but let's take a quick look at the changes or the new things added with this new version we have the new contrast options available in the developer options as far as i know these things were actually present in some accessibility settings but now these are moved to developer options so if you move on to the developer options you will be able to notice we have the contrast options available where you can adjust standard medium or high according to your own preference and finally the predictive back animations are actually working so smooth if you can take a look at here right now i just enabled the predictive back animations was looking like that so if i disable this option you can see the new back arrow which was already introduced with android 14's developer previews i think so and if you take a look at this if i enable this option right now you can see some options here so if i simply try this you can see this is how the ui is looking like it actually looks quite interesting quite amazing with the previous update this thing was actually available there but not working but for me now it's finally working here also the system settings now actually rearranged you can see the language and keyboard are now split into two sections you have the language section different here we have the keyboard section differently so this is what we have and navigation mode was already split from uh, these one in the previous developer preview updates where you can adjust uh, things if you want like gesture navigation etc but keyboard and languages two things are now split and this is the new thing which which is introduced with android 14's beta 2 also if you move on to the privacy options we have the data sharing updates options available here and uh, this is something really different was not present actually in the previous updates and this is related to the location that uh, which apps are sharing your location and it's a very good thing in the terms of privacy concerns actually and it looks quite good also another major change which i found here is in the clipboard if you take a look at i just copied something and it is an overlay and the previous updates or beta 1 etc the thing was quite big and now it's actually quite small and let me show you once again if i try to copy something you can see there is only small minimal window and then it's now something like maximizing and now it's full screen and this thing is actually available whenever you have a keyboard enabled so if we don't have any keyboard then then this thing will be same like the previous update let me show you for example you can see whenever i write something when i try to cut or copy something a small overlay so small pop-up kind of overlay available but if i disable the keyboard let me just try it like this one okay it will not work here right now for example we can use the select feature so okay here i can try by selecting some text from here because we don't have any keyboard right now as you can see this pop-up is still there this kind of overlay is still there but whenever you have enabled the keyboard then the things are a little bit different also with this new version we have the font size options available font size style option is actually visible in the quick settings panel and in the previous update the thing was there i think so it was not working actually but with this beta 2 it's finally there it's working perfectly fine i tried to enable this thing and it's not actually hidden it's there you can simply add it into your quick settings panel and done and it's working perfectly fine so these are some visual changes but if you take a look at some android 13's android 14's beta 1 changes this was a major change the permission manager now you have you can simply select photos and videos some particular photos and videos for that particular app and it's a very good thing and i am actually using this feature in ios too and this is a super useful thing at least for me but other options are basically same so right now what i'm using right now is i'm using gsi as i just mentioned at the starting of the video it's working flawlessly but actually it's not for daily driver at all i just installed it to show you that the new things or showcase the new things introduced with android 14's beta 2 but if you still want to install and if you want to explore some new things the gsi kind of things what you can do is you can try out dsu side loader for that i made a specific video already on that how you can install android 14's beta 1 by using dsu side loader if you are rooted so you can go and explore and this is what we have this is all about today short and simple video hope you like this for more videos like this make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you like this don't forget to like this one thanks for watching goodbye